What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we got a really fun video for you. We get a lot of questions about shooting through a car, what will happen, what will stop around. So we are going to do a fun video today. Just so you know, the car has no warranty. So thanks to our friends at C4 Shooting and Training Center, the, our home range, they allowed us to use their car. We're gonna shoot through the windshield. We're gonna shoot through the door. We have set up a target so you can see if it really makes any difference when you shoot through the glass. I think it's the owner's car, so don't tell them. Okay. <laughs> what we're gonna be shooting today, there's a couple old defensive rounds I got. This one is a Corbon nine millimeter. I think I got some Sig V Crown. Uh, then of course we're gonna shoot the regular round nose. So to begin with, So we got that set up. So what's in the gun right now is just regular round nose. We'll shoot, uh, Kim will shoot through here and then we'll switch out the ammo and you can see if there's any difference whatsoever. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna be shooting the Canic Elite Executive today. Uh, we are gonna shoot through the windshield and we're gonna shoot at this target to see how much it deviates. So let's check it out. You can see where the round went through the glass and then we're actually hit the target. Now we're switching up the ammo. We got the Corbon hollow point. And now we're going to shoot our second round, and since we already put a hole through the glass, we're going to shoot right through there. So I ended up putting a, I'm a little cramped in here, so I ended up putting a second hole through the glass. And you can see there's a little deviation, but not much. Okay, so interesting little deal here, uh, and actually you can see it up here as well. So the, these are the two rounds. Uh, when the projectile went through the glass, especially with the uh, Corbon, since it's a hollow point, it caught a little bit of the material of the glass. And so this is, uh, this is actually not a, a, a round, that's not a bullet that went through there. That's actually the glass that got picked up as it went through and uh, some up there. So these are actually only two shots that we placed. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be shooting through the door due to the way the range is set up today without having to move the, the car, car all around. We're going to shoot this direction. So from the inside of the door out, it's not going to make any difference whether we were shooting this way or not as far as the uh, ability for the round to go through. And just so you guys know, we're going to be putting, this is just garbage, 223, uh, 50, I'm sorry, 55 grain ammo, nothing special. They're not green tips. They're just training rounds, not even 5.56, okay? So that's what we're going to be shooting for the rifle. And then for the pistol again, we'll have a little combination of round nose and hollow points. First off, start off with the pistol through the door. All right. So let's take a walk over here, see what happens. There you go, there's your round. So I went all the way through the door. Obviously here's your exit. You can kind of see what that looks like. Is that metal falls out. And then hit their intended target. So maybe even through the steel door, I don't know, maybe two inches at most. And again, just a basic training round, nothing big. Hey, without seeing the target, huh? Huh? Yeah. Deviation. I'm sure you know what's going to happen next, but just to be clear, uh, we're going to obviously use the rifle here. Same scenario with this guy. Obviously zipped right through. If you want to see comparison of the actual exits. All right. So these two are the, uh, the bigger ones, obviously, are the nine mils, and that is your two, two, three round. All right, so here we're going to do a little bit of an offset. We're a little bit dis we have some distance between us and the glass. I'm going to use the rifle. We'll go through the windshield here. You can see the target set up right there, and we'll see how much. Uh, again, same ammo, same ball, two, two, three. Uh, chart training ammo. Well, that one was perfect. All right, where's that one at? Perfect. <clears throat> There's the uh, exit of the 223 round. So the owner left his uh, baby back here, so we're going to see how much punishment this thing can take. So there you have it. Uh, again, rifle rounds, pretty basic. <clears throat> These aren't green tips. Anything like a green tip, like a, a penetrator tip, is obviously going to go through even further. You can see the deviation is not that big a deal. 
So for all the guys and gals that watch the movies and there's uh, all this crazy stuff happening where there's holes in the glass in front of the, the driver and there's this big shootout, that movie's over because they're dead. That, that round doesn't just come through and stop and fall on the dashboard or whatever. Uh, the glass isn't going to deviate the round so much that you can't, uh, you know, shoot. Keep in mind too, we're talking about self-defense distances realistically. Obviously we're in a car and we have to justify it and all that nonsense, so long distance shots are ridiculous anyway. Uh, so hopefully that cleared up a lot of things. We get this question asked a lot, so hopefully we answered it for you. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from you. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Oh yeah, and we're on Rumble, so make sure you follow us there. Giaga Firearms Academy and the number one. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.